Oh, hello! I'm Alex here in Colombia, and what I am doing here is cultivating on these steep slopes. One technique that we use is called on-contour biomass buns, or contornos. And what we do is we amass all of the cuttings in the grass and the sticks into one bund, uh, and this, what this does is uh, decomposes naturally into a fertile uh, strip. It has several additional benefits, which include uh, retaining water and controlling erosion. We use several different cuttings and native species to sustain the biomass bun so it doesn't roll down the hill. And slowly, over time, the birds perch in the cuttings that we make. You can see uh, this particular plant we call Nacereno, and we plant these with cuttings. But when the birds come and perch in the Nacereno, they plant uh, with their poop different native species of trees, like this cordoncillo, which I was pruning as we began this video. And so these biomass strips or contours uh, also increase the biodiversity load within uh, our cultivated lots. And so anybody can continue to farm in mainly, mostly the same ways they know how within uh, these biomass strips, uh, which could take place depending on how steep the slope is, every 10 or 30 or 50 meters, you can install one of these. Uh, right now in Colombia we are under El Nino and this has meant that we haven't gotten any rain for almost a month. Uh, but if we stick our hand underneath the biomass bund, we'll see that it's still retaining some amount of humidity. And this make, can make the difference uh, for plants. Uh, we're here in the afternoon and so you can hear some birds around. And I want to take you, uh, this uh, right here we started uh, about three years ago. And so you can see there's a number of trees that are taller than me. Uh, that are creating this biodiverse strip and as we clean these lots all of the grass and the cuttings and the branches we throw on there we're gonna take you to a newer bund and show you what it looks like as we just get started okay so here we go well, here we are on the underside of a much newer biomass bund or contour this one we made just a few months ago and you can see we've taken advantage of a native tree that was already here and this is a chilco tree and uh, we've installed several cuttings like this nacereno and this hibiscus and over here you can even see this tricantea gigantea uh, madre de agua we call it here locally and you can get some idea of this uh, decomposing biomass we use branches and uh, trunks and lots and lots of grass in this particular area. That's what we have. And so it's recently been chopped down. And we just pick up the grass and throw it on the pile. Maybe stomp it down a little bit. Generally right now, because it's very dry, we'll let the grass dry out. Uh, and it'll provide a little bit of ground cover. And then when it's all dry... We'll pick it up or roll it up and put it. And here's our dog Whitey participating in the video. Yeah, buddy. And so as we design the farms with these contours, we think in the fourth dimension. We're thinking long term about the usability of our soils. Uh, the soils, um, these biomass contours do increase the viability of the soils in the decomposition and the maintaining of the humidity, the water, the control of the erosion, a lot of micro life is activating and keeping alive, providing fertility for the rest uh, uh, of these areas. Uh, but this is in the fourth dimension. So this, several months ago we put this in, it won't look like where we started for another year or two. And uh, because we do have this native tree, maybe a bird will come and help us out by planting. But until these get a little bit larger, 
they won't serve as perches quite yet for birds to uh, add in. And the idea is that along these contours, other uh, native species of trees will pop up and we'll clean it up. And so, yes, they do take up some space. Uh, if you're trying to get the maximum amount of crop per hectare, uh, you may say that this takes up some of your cultivation space. But because of the benefits, the multitude of benefits that they provide, including biodiversity, control of erosion, uh, control of the soil humidity and soil life, and I, I frankly, I find a place to put all of this uh, chopped down weeds, uh, or buenesas, malesas, uh, that we have, it's just a place to put them uh, out of the way. Uh, these are ecosystem services and generally benefits that these can provide. Uh, I frankly think that these are super positive and have had a great effect. And we are installing them uh, quicker and uh, more frequently now that we've kind of confirmed with ourselves over the last several years that this, yes, is working and it's providing a benefit. One additional thing, and uh, hopefully soon we'll, we'll be able to make a new video for you, we are experimenting where these are more developed by planting vine crops like uh, pole beans uh, on the underside of the contours so that they have these natural trellises that they can just climb right up. So look forward to that video in the future.